So the Blender interface is separated into different areas called panels. So here we've got a panel containing a 3D viewport so that we can look around the scene. We've got a panel containing an outliner, which basically tells you what you've got in the scene. And then we've got a properties panel, which shows you all the different properties for both objects, the scene in general, render settings, and things like that. And then we've got a panel at the bottom, which is the timeline, um, which we can use to play back the animation. Now, each of these panels can be changed to show something else. So at the moment, it's a 3D viewport in this panel. I can choose to change that to any of these available editors by clicking this top left hand corner. We've got this little drop down menu which shows all the available editors which we can then change this to be. So for example, I've just changed it to be text editor where you might do some eventually do some scripting to automate some of your work. So I'll put this back to the 3D viewport. Above this, we've got the workspace tabs. Now workspace is just a different collection, or different configuration of panels, which are configured in a way that makes certain tasks easier. So everything is going to be at hand. So for example, if I go to the uh, scripting workspace, you can see this contains panels that have been selected based on what will be necessary if you decide to do some scripting. You can use the inbuilt workspaces or you can add new ones here. So there's more inbuilt ones there, or you can also add your own workspaces or edit the existing one. And to create a new workspace, a custom workspace, we can either right click an existing one and choose duplicate, and then we can double click it to name it whatever we want. I'll just delete that one, right click and then choose delete. And then we've also got the plus icon over here where we can do the same thing. We can duplicate whichever is currently selected. We can't add a blank one. We've always got to duplicate or choose one of the presets. All right. The next thing is how do we edit a workspace? So I'm actually going to duplicate this one again. Right click, I'll duplicate it, and I'll name this test. And to edit a workspace, there are a few things we can do. We can resize the existing panels, or we can add new panels. So let's firstly look at how we resize. To resize, basically, you just put your mouse over one of the edges and then you can drag it in whichever direction you want. And to add new panels, you put your mouse in a corner of a panel and then you drag either up to create a horizontal one or you drag from the corner horizontally to create a vertical one. So to make this a little bit more obvious, what's going to happen, I'm going to change this panel here to show a different editor, it doesn't matter which one, and you'll do. So I'll choose the Python console and we can now collapse existing panels that we want to keep onto the ones that we want to get rid of. So if I want to make this entire upper region a 3D viewport, I'll drag from this one. So I'll put my mouse in the corner again so it turns into this crosshair and then drag it across like so. And again, if I wanted to do it the other way, then I'll drag from this side across this way. And now this right hand side one has extended across and got rid of the one on the left-hand side. And we can also drag down as well to get rid of the ones below it. Then we'll set it back to 3D viewport. And we'll put the we'll put it back to the way it was originally, just by resizing these uh, the bottom panel. And if you're midway through making a change, so if I start adding a new panel here, if I then decide I don't want to do that, before I let go of the, the left mouse button, all I'll do is right click and it will cancel it. So your first task is to create yourself a new workspace by duplicating one of the existing ones, rename it to something else, and then jiggle it around so that we've got lots of new editors. So make a bit of a mess of it. Change some of the editors to be something else. And then try and put it back to how it was originally. And you'll be amazed how many people struggle with this initially. So it's a, it's a good thing to uh, get used to. Once you've got used to it, we'll move on to the next section. So pause the video and I'll see you in a second.